Hi, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing how to take a skinned mesh of an imported file from Skyrim actually, putting it into Fallout 4, removing the skins, making it a ground object file. So we'll jump right into it. Uh, this is something someone else has already sent me. Uh, as you can see here, it's not quite formatted right because they put an ashtray above the root node. So first we're going to go ahead and fix that by adding in an additional child. Sixty-five, and we're going to go ahead and save this out as a new file. Call that stage one. Uh, next, we're going to load that up into Outfit Studio, which I conveniently have open already, uh, because we're going to need to take this mesh file. Because we can see that the ring is way over here, not quite in the right spot. And we're going to export that to an object, OBJ. And where is my junk folder? There it is. I'll call that Dragon Ring Stage 1 OBJ. And then we're going to have to take that and put that into 3D Studio. You could use Blender or any other modeling program. The important thing is that you're going to need to be able to reposition it to a zero uh, axis. So we'll go ahead and get right on that. Center that. Take that back off. Where is it? There it is. Actually, I can just go right here. And we're conveniently centered right on zero. As we can see. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and just re export that back to an OBJ file. And we're going to go ahead and call that uh, stage two, I guess. Now, the important thing is that since it has the same name, uh, we're going to have to play around with some names here. Otherwise, uh, Alpha Studio freaks out. Bring that in. Actually, I guess it was okay. Now, if we notice, it is here on zero. If we wanted to, we could also have repositioned it up higher or whatever we want. Uh, having it at zero allows us to do a scaling if we need to. In fact, if we reposition it in here, Outfit Studio is nice enough that it changes that to be the zero point when we export, which we'll go ahead and do right now. Oh, actually, no, we don't want to do that yet. First, we've got to take off the skins. Uh, notice I'm also taking off the sub-index. Since we're not going to be setting up uh, bone or uh, dismemberment, since this is the ground object file, there's no point in having the render engine have to deal with all the uh, indexes for that. Go do that. In fact, let's take them off of here as well, just to clean things up. And we're going to go ahead and export that. And just to make ourselves figure out where we're going, we're going to call that stage three. So now we can open that up with NIF scope. We're almost done. Oops, sorry, I had a NIF scope open. Close that down. And we can see that we still have our little lone ring way over here. That's the original. And then we have the new one, which is conveniently positioned in the right spot with the transform of zero. So now if we wanted to scale that, it gets scaled up but does move, which is normal, uh, because it's still scaling from the bottom down here. If we had left it centered in zero and scaled, it would scale directly on the zero, and then you would have to move it yourself. Maybe that's desired, maybe not. I'll leave that up to you. In any case, I'm going to put that back at one. And the first thing we need to do is clean up all of this extra crap for the bone nodes for skinning. So we'll go up to spells. And I forget where it is. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Optimize, remove bogus nodes. Then we will want to copy our shader data from the old ring over to the new one. 
So we will delete that branch and paste it in there. And then we can delete the original branch. So now we have just the new ring, the ashtray, positioned where we want it. Go ahead and save. Call that completed. Uh, now notice this has collision already. That was from the ashtray, already imported before. So I'm assuming that's right. I didn't actually go test that. Um, if you needed custom collision, then you'll need 3D Studio and set that up. That's beyond this tutorial. I'll let you guys figure that out from something else. Anyway, have a great day.